leg switches, the often lost art of pole. Um, when I first started pole, leg switches were the big tricks. If you do a handspring, you were a god. But the pole world is more so much now that leg switches oftentimes seem almost insignificant to a lot of people. And I find that a lot of pollers that are at the intermediate advanced level have never taken the time to actually break down their leg switches or their leg hangs and get really comfortable in them. So we're going to do that today. So if this is something that you've been working on, um, maybe you've been doing these for a long time but never felt 100% comfortable and weren't sure why, or maybe this is something you haven't tried yet. So we're going to start from an outside leg hang. I'm not going to go through the details on how to get into the outside leg hang so much, but if you need a refresher on that, go back and look at some of the previous tutorials. Okay, so we're going to start from an outside leg hang. From my outside leg hang, before you can work on a leg switch, you have to be able to hold it without your hands. If your hands are here and you're still getting comfortable on your outside leg hang, the leg switch is not going to happen. Okay, so I need to be able to have this arm back and my chest out so that it's not gonna get in the way of this leg coming around, okay? So, when I do go to my leg switch, my inside leg, which is gonna become my new hooking leg, I wanna think of ronde jambing or circling this leg with my toes as close to the ground. I don't wanna bring it straight up. If I come straight up, I won't have as much surface area on my leg. So instead, I wanna think toes low to the ground, circle, 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 until I feel it nice and tight in my thigh and I wanna really compress my toes to my nose. The more I compress, the more secure I'm gonna feel, okay? Once I get to where I feel that compression, I'm gonna bring the other leg down into that pike, okay? If I open, I don't feel secure. If I compress, it feels tighter, okay? Once you're able to get to this, then you can switch to your inside leg, okay? Same thing to reverse. Take that leg around, Feel that squeeze between your thighs, pike, back to your outside leg, and around, okay? So the tendency is, in a lot of pole stuff, and life in general, um, when we're uncomfortable with something, we tend to wanna kind of curl up in a ball with a lot of things in pole. If you do that, it's gonna make you slide and actually be less secure and less safe in the trick. So you have to resist that urge. So as I'm doing the leg hang, my chest is out the entire time. If I start to feel uncomfortable and scared and do this, it's gonna cause me to slide. So before you start working on your leg switches, you wanna be already secure in your outside leg hang and your inside leg hang. At least like a general idea and be able to be comfortable without the hands. If you're not comfortable on those two ends, the in-between is going to feel really scary, okay? So when I go to switch, I have to be very aware that as my legs are moving, my chest is staying very open. I want to think of upper back, like as if there's a string coming from the center of my sternum and just lifting like this, okay? Just that motion, as I do that, it pushes this arm into the pole, it increases my contact with the pole, and it's going to make you feel much more secure. So as the legs are moving, really think about big breath in, Exhale and open your chest. And don't watch your feet. If you watch your feet, it's gonna put all of this in the wrong position. So think head back if you wanna watch, position yourself so you have a mirror to see or video yourself. But think neutral neck or even looking down slightly towards the floor, okay? So from the outside leg, think leg nice and low, circle until you feel it nice and tight. Squeeze the legs together, really pipe, and press them towards your face, then switch. Eventually, once you're solid in these, you don't have to do the big rond de jambe and the pike in between. But starting with those is going to help you feel where the surface area is. Otherwise, I find people kind of cut corners to it and they never feel secure in that. And so then they avoid those leg switches. So either start from an inside leg or from an outside leg. Work on that nice big circle with the back leg until you feel the thighs. Go to the pike. Feel secure in that every step of the way. Remind yourself to breathe. Okay, We tend to forget that little, you know, small slightly significant thing, like breathing. Um, each part, like when you lower into both legs pike, think big breath in, exhale as you release that leg. So try these out. Um, if you are not feeling like comfortable with that chest lift in it, do it nice and low. You don't have to be super high. You can come down nice and low right here and work on the leg king right here, okay? So don't feel like you need to be 
high up in the air as you do it. So, leg switches. Try those out. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. If you have requests for future tutorials, I'd love to hear them. Leave those in the comments below as well. And if you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel for weekly tricks and training tips, please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep bringing you fun new tutorials every week. Thank you so much for watching.